So I was listening to Bill Clinton's new master class, and in one of the early lessons, he was talking about how you need foundational beliefs, essentially, in order to become a good leader. His foundational belief is that human beings are all interdependent, meaning we all affect one another in some way, that we affect each other in either a good or a bad way on this big spectrum of good and bad, that we can also make decisions that affect people in more good than bad. And I thought about that for a long time, and basically I came to realize that while what he said seems very simple, there is a lot of faith there. There's a lot of faith that, one, we're all interdependent, that our actions will affect other people. No matter what you do, you're going to affect somebody else and that we're all linked. And, you know, if we look at it from a bunch of different directions, that may not necessarily be true. But let's say it is true. Then we have this idea that there is good and bad, right? And there's a lot of philosophers that might even argue that that's not the case. But let's just say that good is causing more positive feelings and positive things like safety and uh, freedom and the opportunity to exchange love, like very simple things. And bad is pain and suffering and killing and violence, like on the extreme. And then there's a whole bunch of gray area in between. So let's just say that is true. Then there's the other part that he mentions, which is we can make decisions that can cause more good to happen than bad. And this is where things get even weirder. It's hard to know how much control we really have. In one sense, I believe that the person that thinks that they can do more good than bad and will actually take on the good fight to do good things is both courageous and potentially ignorant. Everyone knows the person that tries to play the hero, that tries to take on the world and tries to help everybody or tries to jump into situations and tries to be, you know like a hero complex, and they end up doing more damage than good. We've all seen those people, and it's so distasteful, and it's so, like, their belief that they're doing good for other people is ignorant, and it's not true from the eyes of all the people that they're negatively impacting. At the same time, I'm sure we've all seen the people that will shy away from conflict, that will actually have the opportunity and the position and the power to do something good, and they choose not to, and that shying away from that conflict is also a very cowardly act. I don't know, when it comes to leadership, there is so much like murking around in the gray, the gray area, and like not having all the information. I remember listening to Condoleezza Rice's podcast where she was talking about the weapons of mass destruction situation post 9-11, and she was saying that with all the information that they were given, with all the facts that they were given as fast as they were given to them, and all the decisions they made, she's proud of how they all operated. And a lot of people consider that time in American politics to be just this trail of big mistakes and basically a disaster. But like the thing we don't think about is being able to look back 20 years later is very easy to judge the decisions people made. These guys get maybe 10% of the information and then they have to make the best decision possible with 10% of the information and then three months down the line now they have 30% of the information and you know a decade down the line now we have like 60% of the information we're judging their decision that they made with 10% of the information and it just sounds crazy like it just sounds like most of life is like this where you just don't have all the information and you have to do your best to make the best decisions possible assuming that we're all interdependent and that there is good and bad and assuming that you can decipher between that good and bad fairly well that you're gonna make decisions that help people more, there's just so many mistakes you're gonna make. We're all just fumbling through this chaos of like what's true and what's not. I don't know, it's daunting, it's crazy. It seems like such a simple thing. We're all interpersonal people and in that there is good and bad and that we can make decisions that create more good than bad. It sounds simple, but it's not. It's like it, there's a lot of faith in that statement. I don't know, it's interesting. All right. It's bedtime.